वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट वी वी स्टडिंग यूनिट नंबर सिक्स इन द डी एस पी प्रोसेसर वी हैव गॉन थ्रू सर्टन पॉइंट्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव गॉन थ्रू दिस फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट इंस्ट्रक्शन अलॉन्ग विद द कंडीशनल एग्जीक्यूशन टूडे इन दिस लेक्चर विल टॉक अबाउट पाइपलाइन ऑपरेशन वॉट आर दोज पाइपलाइन ऑपरेशन विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द पाइपलाइन फेजेस आर डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री स्टेजेस एज यू ऑल नो इन एनी ऑफ द कंट्रोलर दीज आर द थ्री स्टेजेस इन विच इंस्ट्रक्शन आर एग्जीक्यूटेड द फर्स्ट स्टेज इज फेच then second is decode and execute now all instruction in c67x dsp instruction set flow through the phase decode and execute stages of the pipeline as it was in the case of every microcontroller the phase stage of the pipeline now here every stage is divided into certain phases now what are those phases we'll try to understand the phase stage of pipeline has four phases for all instructions and decode stage has two phases for all instruction okay and execute stages of the pipeline requires varying number of phases depending on the type of instruction now see uh, this is the first thing that you should take care that fetch stage consists of four phases decode stage consists of two phases and execute stage consists of variable number of phases depending on the type of uh, type of instruction if it is a simple instruction it may require a less number of execute cycle if it is uh, uh, like a single precision to double precision or double uh, precision instruction it may require more number of execute phases if you can look at this particular diagram here four phases or four time slots something like that it is shown so four phases are required for phase uh, phase stage decode require two phases and execute here we have given 10 phases now for understanding we have limited our execute stages to 10 now we'll understand one by one now the fetch phase of the pipeline r now see this is important in the examination point of view where you are supposed to explain the pipelining principle of the dsp processor and you need to understand these four phases also you should write those four phases neatly and cleanly now what are those four phases the first phase is pg second is ps pw and pr now what this stands for pg stands for program address generate now what i need to do whenever certain instruction is executed there is a address associated with that particular instruction so that address will come into the program counter as it was a case in the normal like microcontroller that address need to be generated so program address generate is the first phase of fetch phase first phase of fetch stage i will say second phase is ps program address send now the address which is generated in the pg will be sent to program address send the third phase is pw program access ready wait now once the program address is sent the cpu will be uh, in the waiting phase till that ex, um, uh, that um, the part of the uh, memory that we need to access is ready once it becomes ready the program fetch packet receive the data related to that particular uh, address will be fetch now how these phases are represented in the uh, diagram was we, we are going to see this in the next slide now see pg ps pw and pr address generate address send ready wait and packet receive now c67x dsp has uses fetch packet of eight instruction as we all know there are eight functional units so we can at a time fetch eight instruction simultaneously all these eight instructions proceed through the processing together through the pg pspw and pr phases so uh, parallel uh, processing is called as a pipelining if single instruction if a instruction is executed and it is fetch it is decoded it is executed and then second instruction is fetch decoded executed it is called as a serial processing but if i am taking eight instruction at a time and those are given to eight functional units for fetching decoding executing it consist of uh, pipelining we'll try to understand this looking at this particular diagram now see these four phases pg ps pw and pr so program address generate now what cpu will do cpu will generate address and in the second phase ps the program address is sent to the memory then we will be in the wait phase where this access ready wait so we need to wait for certain time because memory are the slower devices they require certain time to respond back to the uh, order given by cpu or the request given by cpu then finally this program pr so this data is fetched into the cpu so this pg ps pw and pr if you can see this is a four phases of fetch stage only pg ps pw and pr now the figure shows fetch uh, phases in sequential order from left to right 
figure b is a functional diagram of the flow instruction through the phase phases that we have gone through during the pg phase the program address is generated in the cpu that we have talked about during this pg phase the program address is generated during this pg phase program address is generated second in the ps phase program address is sent to memory in the ps phase this program address which is generated in the pg phase which is sent to memory in third phase in the pw phase the memory read occurs this may memory read occurs in pw phase and finally in the pr phase the fetch packet is received at the cpu now there are four phases for fetch phase now there are two phases for decode phase what are those two phases we'll try to understand the decode phases of the pipelining are instruction dispatch instruction decode now we need to decode instruction first of all instruction should be dispatched and then it will be decoded once it is decoded a cpu understand that what i need to do with those instruction and finally the execution will start we'll try to understand that in the forthcoming slides so decode phase dp and dc dispatch decode in the dp phase of the pipeline the fetch packets are split into execute packet in the dp phase this uh, dp phase that is this instruction dispatch the fetch packets are split into execute packet the execute packet consists of one instruction or from two or two to eight parallel instruction as you all know there are eight functional units in the dsp processor we can have one instruction at a time or we can have two to eight instruction which are parallelly being executed during the dp phase the instruction in a execute packet are assigned to appropriate functional unit this is important these instructions are dispatched what i mean to say if there are eight instruction parallelly being what i want to execute then those instructions should be given parallelly to eight functional unit depending on what type of functionality those functional unit possess depending on that those instruction will be dispatched in the dc phase this is actually a decode phase in a dc phase the source register destination register and associated paths are decoded for execution and instructions in the functional unit what i mean to say that instruction dispatch means dispatching the instruction to those eight functional unit and once that is done instruction decode will take care of decoding it will understand that what i need to do with those instructions and once it is clear then it will be further executed now just try to understand dp phase and decode phase in this decode phase see there are certain instruction add add stw stw add k no operation so see this is a dp phase dp phase means dispatch what i will do this add will be dispatch to first functional unit let's say l1 s1 unit is um, not required right now second add instruction i can assign it to l2 which is functional unit of the second register path b now stw store word instruction stw you all know load and store instruction are taken care by dot d unit so they can be dispatched to dot d and then another stw instruction can be dispatched to dot d2 unit now i have another instruction add k which i can assign to either s1 or s2 we have assigned it to s2 and no operation no operations means i need to do nothing now once they are dispatched so dispatching is done in a dp phase those instructions are only those instructions are only dispatched now they will be decoded and decoded means we will understand that what addition i need to do what store word fr from which memory location i need to store a word what constant add k stands for addition of the constant with certain register what constant need to be added to the register and where i need to store the result all those will be done will be in uh, all those things will be done in the dc phase now the first two slots of the fetch packet shaded below represent execute packet of two parallel instruction that were dispatched in the previous cycle if you can see this shaded thing mpyh and mpyh if you can see here these are fetch during previous cycle and these consist of multiplication instruction and we have dedicated multiplier for each register file so this mpyh is given to m1 and this mpyh is given to m2 this execute packet contains two mpy instruction that are now in decode dc one cycle before the execution there are no instructions decoded for dot l dot s and dot d functional unit for the situation illustrated what i mean to say is before these six instructions being executed there were two instruction which were dispatched in this 
before this six instruction those two instructions were dispatched to this m1 and m2 they are now in the dc phase while all these instructions are in the dp phase now execute finally we have fetched we have decoded now we need to execute the instruction the execute portion of the pipeline is subdivided into 10 phases e1 to 8 e10 depending on the complexity of the instruction depending on what exactly those instructions are support to do as compared with the five phases in the fixed point pipeline different types of instruction require a different number of these phases to complete their execution so it depends on what type of instruction it is these phases of the pipeline play an important role in your understanding of the device state at the cpu in this so execute phases of the pipeline e1 e2 e3 it is easy to remember so what is the summary so there are four phases for fetch what are those phases pg address generate address send ready wait and fetch packet finally dp and dc dispatch decode so these are two phases and remaining 10 phases of execute so we have these 10 phases we need to remember whenever a question is asked in the examination about explaining pipelining of the dsp processor you need to write about those four phases of these four pg ps pwpr phases of fetch then dp dc phases of decode and e1 to e10 phases of execute so that's all for right now this completes our pipelining feature now one or two points of unit number six are remaining that i will cover in the next coming lecture and once again stay home stay safe and keep learning